Number 567, 567. Holy, holy, holy. you have been our refuge from generation to generation, from age to age you are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I send it. Verbum Domini. From all their distress, God rescued the just. From all their distress, God rescued the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, 
and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all that distress, God rescued the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one call out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all that distress, God rescued the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescued the just. When the just cried out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescued them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescued the just. Glory to you, O word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Lord God, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Evangelium Domini. The way that Jesus teaches us how to pray in offering what is now a formula that we offer up whenever we pray the rosary, whenever we offer up the Eucharist, and also just on our own and in many devotions. He is also teaching us the structure of how to pray, of where to begin, how to continue, and where to end. And the first place that we begin in prayer, and it's important to recognize this, and the reason why is because sometimes in our prayer, we can focus on supplication, to focus just on asking for things from the Lord, which makes sense, especially because we are so very needy, right? And we are sometimes very desperate. And so we go to our Lord and, and immediately start asking him for things. And that's something that we should do. We're supposed to approach him. But our Lord gives us a balance of how to pray to him. And in all of these ways, they actually feed us. And the first is to acknowledge who God is, our Father who art in heaven. It's an act of praise. Praise should always be part of our prayer every single day. The act of celebrating the Mass is in itself a prayer of praise. The Eucharistic prayer, the way that we begin prayer, 
all of it is filled with God's praise of acknowledging who he is. So our own prayers should also include, without ceasing, praising our Lord, saying praise to you, O Lord, for your glory, praise you, Lord, for your goodness, praise you, Lord, for your love for all of us, and other ways that you can come up with guided by the Spirit. Then the supplications that are offered up begin with God's will. It always begins with him, right? Hallowed be thy name. May your name be made holy here on earth. And may your kingdom come and your will be done. That that's before we even begin to offer up our own supplications, we should always begin by saying, Lord, your will be done. And then after that, we offer up our own supplications of the specific things that we need. Here it talks about the daily bread which many um, have identified as meaning, give us what we need for today. Give us what we truly need. And that instructs us also on the rest of how we pray, the rest of our supplications, you know, whether it be prayer for, uh, for healing from sickness, prayer looking for a job, prayer for conflict in the family, for healing there. All of those, if we offer those up within the context of God's will, and also understanding that it is what we truly need, then our prayers become more and more aligned with how Jesus is instructing us to pray. And then, and then um, the final two supplications, perhaps we should pray every single day that the Lord forgive us our sins, right? Uh, praying an act of contrition every day is highly recommended to become aware of our sins, especially at the end of the day to examine our conscience and to reflect on how do we stray from God's will and then pray for uh, forgiveness, but with the understanding also that we have to work on our own forgiveness of others. So to ask for that grace to forgive others is part of our life. It's so important that Jesus, after he teaches this prayer, says, yeah, that's right, right? If you do not, if you forgive others, the the sins they've committed against you, then your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you don't, then your Heavenly Father will not forgive you. And so Jesus is saying this is also absolutely critical to be part of your life of prayer. Pray for forgiveness and for the grace to forgive. And then finally, to lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Some translations render this as not, as, not just as deliver us from evil, but deliver us from the evil one. It's an, it's an acknowledgement that all of us are engaged in a kind of spiritual warfare, right? All of us are being attacked in many different ways, the temptation of the, of the devil, the flesh, and the world. And so that's another aspect of prayer that should always be there on a daily basis. So let's give thanks to God that we have Jesus as our instructor on how to pray. And one point of practical advice, when you are kind of stuck in prayer, like you don't know what to say, you just, maybe you're just not, you just don't know what to do, Um, You're going in before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration, or maybe you're at your bedside. You know, there's a couple of things that you can do. The first is, of course, the power of silence before the Lord. Sometimes the, the most powerful prayer we can offer up at that moment is a prayer of silence in His presence. But the other thing that we can do is reflect on the Our Father and think about how can I, maybe I can praise the Lord at this moment or I can ask for his will to be done, or ask for, I, I'm, perhaps I'm angry at somebody and I'm gonna ask for the grace to forgive. Just look through the ways that our Lord instructs us in the Our Father, and that will also help us when we go into our own personal prayer in approaching the Lord. So let's give thanks to God that we know how to pray because he has taught us. Trusting in God's goodness, we offer up our prayers for our community and for the whole world. For members of the church throughout the world, 
May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For national and civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in, in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the poor, may God save them from their distress and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this worship community, may the Eucharist strengthen us as we work to build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, may God soon welcome them into the eternal kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And today at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the Harper family, both living and deceased, and to these intercessions, we pause in silence to add the prayers of our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. To you, Heavenly Father, trusting in your goodness and power, we offer these prayers. We ask that you grant them in accordance with your will, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Mysterium Fidei Tem tu anunciamus et tuam resurrectionem confitemus Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, Italo, his Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When I called, the God of justice gave me answer. From anguish you release me. Have mercy, O Lord, and hear my prayer.
number 925, All Who Hunger, 925. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow down for the blessing. May your faith will be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation, in tribulation, their power to endure, and in peril, their protection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name.